Hi, it's John here. If you've seen on the telly the Starbucks, Google and Amazon representative been pulled up before select committee, Parliament select committee, and you've got one person there uh, representing, say, Amazon, and then uh, they've got about 40 others interviewing him. Well, what a waste of time. What a waste of money. It would be far better if they just had all the papers in front of them, wrote to, wrote to them, say what papers they wanted in front of them, and then just have two or three interviewing, two or three, um, get the civil servants to do it, the uh, the uh, customs and excise. Yeah, that's what they're paid to do. It, it, it's a circus. I mean, they're ripping the man apart. They're throwing him before the lions. You know what, what's the what's the point of it? You know, it just makes them feel important, does it? Um, you, you know, it's uh, it, it's such a waste of money and time. I mean, all those people sat around that table. They'll all be on them. Um, you know, at least thirty thousand, forty, fifty thousand pounds a year, and there's millions of pounds being being wasted there. And uh, okay. Amazon made in 2011 it made 9 billion euros 9 billion that's a lot isn't it and they're saying that they only made 20 million um, profit well it's not much profit but um, it's a multinational company um, if, if this is the way that uh, that is set up. I mean, the government have had plenty of time to to work it all out, haven't they? I mean, it's uh, Amazon has been going for about ten years, so they should have they should have got their act in order by now. Um, all the employees will have been paying income tax, national insurance, and they've all been getting a good living, um, and then they've been spending their money and uh, paying VAT on what they spend. Um, and and, uh, and and um this corporation tax i don't know anything about it but it doesn't sound that fair i mean you, you can just be taxed and taxed and taxed and there's always nothing um the the, the uh the government should have thought about this years and years ago before before um the internet companies were allowed to uh, well and and starbucks sort of multinational coffee place were allowed to sort of like um destroy the city centres of, of the towns, you know, by um, taking all the trade away from the, from the towns. I think they're very, very slow off the mark. Um, and what they think now, now that now they've uh, they've realised this, they they're going to sort of get these, get someone in the corner, and, and sort of um, kick the hell out of them <laughs> until they squeak. <laughs> I, I don't know what the idea of it is. Anyway, bye.